to Spectacular Magazine Shorts. I'm your host, Phyllis Coley. Today, I am honored to be visiting with my homegirl. I can get to say that because I'm from Durham, North Carolina, and so is she. And actually, we brought her back home today. I am talking about April Parker Jones. Welcome. Well, hello. Hi. <laughs> so, we are so excited. So, I'm not even going to tell, I'm going to let her tell you about her. Oh, well, okay. first of all, thank you for having me, homegirl. Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> so, I'm a homegirl because I am from Durham, North Carolina. I'm a Durhamite, born and raised here. Um, and I've had the pleasure of going off and pursuing an acting career. And, uh, and, and it's been it's been a spectacular journey for myself. Um, I've, I've been a blessed to live in uh, New York and Los Angeles. Uh, I reside back in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and I, I've, I've been blessed and fortunate to do over 30 film and TV, television shows, recurred on several. And currently, I'm a series regular on Tyler Perry's If Loving You Is Wrong. Can't wait to see where else the creator takes me. And so tell me, and tell me your character name. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. My character's name on the show is Natalie. Natalie yes. Hennig. She plays uh, she plays the the mother of uh, four children. Uh, she also plays the girlfriend to, to Lucian, yes. um, uh, Malik Whitfield's character. Uh, she's kind of the she's the one she's the one out of the bunch of girls. It's about five women. She's the one out of the bunch who who likes to keep it real. <laughs> very, very <laughs> she likes real. to keep it real, and, uh, and she likes to shoot, shoot straight to the point. Uh, and she's kind of like the mama bear. Of the well, it's been a pleasure to play her. How did you prepare for, for an acting career? Oh gosh, lots and lots of involvement in theater. And I, and I like to encourage people who ask me about um, how, how to start a, a career in acting. I, I like to say start with theater. Um, I had a, a chance to, to do plays at church and at the local uh, community uh, acting the schools here in, in my neighborhood. Of course, in, in, in middle school and high school, I always joined the drama departments okay. and did the plays there. So really submerge yourself in theater. Theater has been my main training ground. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you talked about your ser uh, your uh, season regular mm -hmm. on the OWN Network, but tell us about what we can look for this summer. Oh wow! It, it, look, it's a character so unlike Natalie. Let's just okay. say that. Okay. She plays uh, this character is Anita Dufine. She's a lieutenant general for the Marines. So I'm I'm in charge. I'm okay. the boss lady. I wear the uniform. Uh -huh. I'm giving orders. Uh, and it was such a pleasure to, to play her and uh, and to bring something different to what I normally do. Um, so I think I think people will like now, what's to see the it. name of the series? I apologize. The name of the series is called The Last Ship, and it's on the network uh, TNT. Okay, so is it a military themed mm -hmm. show? It is. It, it is. is. Okay. Uh -huh. it, 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 the, the season I shot was season five, so it's been on for a, for a few seasons. Okay. Uh, and it is absolutely a military show. I don't want to give too much away, but mm -hmm. you'll 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 if you're into to the military kind of uh, stuff, you'll love this show. Um, I, for, uh, I forgot the main character's name, but he he was from uh, Grey's Anatomy. Eric Dane. Eric Dane is the okay. lead uh -huh. in the oh, show from okay. Grey's Anatomy. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. and, oh yeah. You, you're you're gonna you're gonna love this show. She's a, like I said, a lot different from Natalie. <laughs> a lot different from Natalie. We just qualify that. Okay. okay. Uh, now you are in a household. Your partner, mm -hmm. your husband, mm -hmm. is also an actor. Yes. Talk about him. Oh, wow. Well, Jay and I have been together 13 plus years. We've been married. It'll be 11 years in June. And, uh, oh man, what a, what an awesome journey. We actually met in New York doing a play together. Uh, it was a two-character love story, and we have been together since the first rehearsal. We've been together. Do you think it was divine intervention? You guys were cast for that part. It was. And now you're still playing it. It was still playing it. You're still playing it. <laughs> because he's such a great champion in my life mm -hmm. and I and I truly do not take it for granted uh, having having him be a, a, a part of uh, just all the accomplishments the cool thing about Jay is him being an actor also he understands the journey of it all mm -hmm. you know so that that definitely helps to make it uh, easier as I navigate through my career has he been in anything we would know Jake just recently recurred on Mario Van Peebles' new show on the Sci-Fi Network. It's called Superstition. Uh, so you guys make sure you catch that show. It's uh, it's on the Sci-Fi Network. I don't know what day it comes on, but just check your local listings. He plays a, a crazy character called Skinny Jenkins. Uh, Jay is also uh, oh he also just uh, shot a, a, an episode of Greenleaf. Uh, so uh, yes, so we're we're hoping that, that that character will come back too. I don't want to give too much away about it because it has not aired yet. So be on the lookout for him in Greenleaf also. Okay, so I don't 
don't know how much you would know about it, but I want to ask you about the future of If Loving You Is Wrong. Okay. Um, now that, because it's public knowledge that uh, Tyler Perry is no longer, uh, his contract will expire right. soon, that's with the OWN Network. Have they talked to you about what's going to happen? You know what? Or do you have a prediction? You know what, no, I, nothing has been set in stone about what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I certainly hope, uh, because there is still some time left before 2019, that uh, I, my hope is that everything will be wrapped up and the characters will at least, uh, there'll be a payoff for the fans. Yes. Um, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm hoping. So uh, as soon as I find out something, I'll let you know. Um, will you? Okay, okay, that's will. a promise. Okay, right. promise we'll give an will. exclusive. Okay, yes. thank but, you. But we did shoot a season, uh, eight episodes this past January that have not aired yet. They will air this summer. So when that when that date comes out uh, this summer, which will probably be September, October, I'll let you know that too. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So be on the lookout for those new episodes. Okay, so you've already shot it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so does the lady who's hanging in the... Okay, no, you're not going to tell me. You won't tell me. You're, you're not going to tell me, are you? <laughs> good try. That was a good try. I, I had to ask. You know what I do want to ask you? Yes, know, what happened to your son, the oldest son who got shot and went to jail, and then we didn't talk about him again? Yeah, I know. He's still in jail. Oh, is he? You know, he's serving his time, and, and hopefully he'll get out and, 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 and get his life back on track. Oh, okay. But right now, he is incarcerated. Okay, yes. okay. Because we didn't talk about him anymore. No, I know. There was like a major storyline with him, and you can tell him a big fan. Okay. Okay, okay. And, then, and, then, and, then, and then we didn't talk about him right. again. Um, you also have two beautiful daughters. Thank you. Um, being the, the product of two actors, yeah. do they ha have they have, have they been bitten by the bug? <laughs> you know what? Surprisingly, my 18-year-old has not been bitten by the bug. Mm -hmm. She she is somewhat fascinated with the behind-the-scenes production. Okay. So kind of how it all comes together, how mm -hmm. the making of it all. Now the eight-year-old. Oh yes, I think she's been bitten several times. So you know, and I think when the time is right, we'll ease our way into uh, allowing her to do that. Right now, we want her to kind of just focus on gymnastics, which, mm -hmm. which is what she really loves to do. Mm -hmm. Because I know the commitment it will take from her parents to, to have her in it. Then you go into the role of stage mom. <laughs> Anybody okay. like doing that right now? <laughs> so well, when the time is right, and she's really passionate about moving forward, and it will certainly uh, we'll, we'll be uh, make sure that we support that. Mm -hmm. Is there any role that you have always wanted to play? Gosh, I've always wanted to play a superhero. I know that sounds crazy, but I've always I wanted to be, you know, be in an action film and, and you know, and get into real, you know, great shape and like beat some people up. But uh, I think I'm getting a little old for that, and that's okay. I've been told that I look a lot like Robin Roberts from um, the the news anchor. Robin Robin Roberts. Robin yes, Roberts. Good Morning America. Good morning, America. Yes, you do. But, and so, and, and I, I haven't even had people come up to me in the airport thinking that I was her. Uh -huh. So I would love to be open to the possibility of maybe doing her life story. Yes, and I think it will be told because yeah. she has an interesting and she's got a one. Really interesting life. And I could see you see? playing. I could see it. And you know what? Another uh -huh. secret uh, is uh, Miss Coley is uh, I actually went to college before I changed my major to theater. It was uh, I was uh, my, my, my major was communications with a concentration in media journalism. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to be a news anchor. Yes, yes. So it, it kind of all would come full circle. So Robin, if you're listening, or anybody in your team, I would love to do your life story. <laughs> you heard it here first. You heard it here. First, when it comes to fruition, we'll come back. We'll show you a clip of see, this. We'll be show because see, we we claim it. Absolutely, we claim it. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you for today. Thank, thank you, you for that. For thank you for what you do, and thank you for being an inspiration to thank other you. people. Because I think that people say, well, you know, you come from a little town like Durham, and you know, and what am I going to do? Right. But everybody comes from somewhere. Yes, you do. So do you know what I'm saying? So when yeah. you talk about all your biggest stars, they all. Came from somewhere. Hey, look at Black Panther. He from South Carolina. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So <laughs> everybody so came from some place, oh, yes. and but we, but it, it's not. It's they always say it's not where you start. That's right. No, it's where you end. Absolutely. Amen. And we, we, I'm looking for you all on the Oscar stage and the Tony stage and all that. Okay. I received it. Thank you. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been visiting with April Parker Jones, who is right now starring in It Loving You Is Wrong on the Own Network. We are going to continue to follow her career. And until next time, this is Spectacular Magazine Shorts. I'm your host, Phyllis Coley. Until next time, see ya. Peace.